Hey everyone, welcome back to Mortal Kombat 1. This is going to be episode 3 of my online series where I eventually plan to take every single character in MK1 into training mode, practice with them, figure the character out a little bit, show you what's good, show you what's not so good, and then take the actual characters online for a couple of matches to see whether I overall like the character or sort of what type of player I recommend this character to. This is episode 3 and today we are going to be taking a look at Rain. So I would say that Rain is one of the more underutilized characters currently in MK1. I don't really see a lot of people uh, playing this character. In fact, I can probably count on one hand how many Reigns I fought. And I think because he's so underutilized, uh, people don't really have a good gauge on whether he's good or not. I personally think he has potential. This is not like a crazy super top tier or anything like that, but I think he's overall a good character and has his place in the meta. So the question is what does Rain do? Rain is a zoner. Uh, he's a keep away character meant to be like really tricky, use projectiles and uh, generally keep the opponent out as much as possible. However, I do have to say, I like Rain and actually the other main zoner in the game, Katana, way more than NRS's previous zoning characters. Previously, I always had an issue with sort of ranged and keep away characters in NRS games because they were just like boring as hell. All of them, you know, I'm talking about like Deadshot from Injustice 2, Robocop from MK11, Starfire. All of these characters were just about spamming. They had really fast projectiles, ridiculous projectiles, and they would literally just sit at screen and just spam, 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 and it was really annoying to deal with. To me, that's not what zoning is about. To me, a good zoner has a good mix of ranged options that do a variety of different effects, and you have to be very tactical with them to keep your opponent out and actually use these tools because you don't necessarily have the luxury of being good up close. Luckily, Rain is a bit of a mix in that he's not terrible up close. In fact, he has like some really tricky normals uh, that can actually confuse the opponent very well. Uh, he has this. You can see he has a lot of the water effect normals which are sort of tricky to deal with. Um, this character isn't exactly unsafe either, I would say. Uh, in fact, Rain can keep himself fairly safe with his strings, like that's minus 5 safe, uh, this is minus 6 I think, yeah, even this string, yeah, minus 7, so this character is pretty safe in terms of his strings. Where he's not so safe is his special moves. His special moves are horrendous, negative 12, uh, this one, this one is difficult to show because it's so slow, uh, but this move... Um, yeah, this move especially is just horribly slow. Yeah, if you're up close and you mess something up with this character, prepare to get punished. So I think with Rain, what you really want to do is only commit to your special moves. Oh yeah, this move, the launcher, like horrible negative 20. With Rain, you really only want to commit to your special moves when you are certain you're going to get the hit on your opponent. However, most of the time you will want to be at like this range with Rain because he has some really good projectiles. So this Water Blast might not seem too good, but when you look into it a little bit, it actually becomes kind of ridiculous because you can charge this and you can charge this move in a variety of ways. You can partial charge it, you can send it out really quickly, you can fully charge it. The fully charged one actually allows you for a combo. Uh, you have this move. This is a mid projectile, very fast, can be aimed, so characters will have trouble advancing in on you. And finally, you have this. This Whirlpool is kind of insane. It's a low with insane hitboxes that always allows a full combo, and it actually stays on the ground for a very long time. And let me tell you, the range on this thing is deceptive, so you can do stuff like this, throw your shit out, uh, the opponent will block, try to advance, and then what do you do? Bam! You hit them with this, they get absorbed into the whirlpool, and then bam, full combo punish. Um, I wouldn't say this character deals a ton of damage, he has okay combos with certain cameos. Uh, for him, I really recommend Scorpion. But I think any character that allows you to extend your air combos will work, so... 
I think Goro even might work, Sonya definitely. Um, there are a couple of cameos, but Scorpion seems to be the main pick because you can do something like this. So essentially, anytime you launch your opponent with whatever, the Whirlpool, the actual launcher, uh, you go into this. This is the 243 air string, and then you summon Scorpion, it hits them, and then you go for your Ender. Uh, you, he can do actually almost the same combo without Scorpion, you'll just be doing a lot less damage. And with that he can get safely into the mid 300s, so this is a character that does fairly good damage. But like I said, his keep away options are where it's at, um, and you can be very tactical with these. Uh, like I said, the reason I find him more interesting than previous NRS zoners in that is that you actually have to mix up your options. You also have this water port. Um, I don't really know about this. <laughs> uh, this one is kind of a weird move. People don't really use it, but essentially you can uh, get like two of these out and then you can like teleport to certain ones. And then, yeah, whether this has any practical implications or applications, I'm not sure. I guess one of the things you can do is, if you're up close, you can teleport to it, uh, but it's fairly slow. The reason I prepare Scorpion is because he has this move, uh, so anytime you are like doing something, you get blocked by the opponent, you can just Scorpion it and you're full screen again, and you can go back into your zoning game. So that's why I really, really like Scorpion as the main cameo. And yeah, finally, last tool to cover with this character is this. This is the other thing that makes his zoning ridiculous. This water shield essentially allows you to absorb projectiles. So, as you can see, this move is very quick. And basically, um, you will always be winning the zoning wars. Uh, because And this absorbs EX projectiles as well, I should mention. Because you can just lay this down and you will be absorbing. Uh, the EX version just lasts a lot, little bit longer. And it travels with you. Uh, so, again, it's really difficult to be in a zoning war against Rain and actually come out on top. So, overall, this all combined, I would say that this is a fairly good character. He, I think, is always going to be a specialist. I don't think this is one of those characters uh, you can just uh, sort of pick up and play. You have to be really dedicated to master him. Um, I enjoy him. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of Rain, but I do enjoy his game plan. Oh yeah, this is not something I showed, but he has this string, which is actually his main punish string, and he can actually convert this into a full combo as well, which is um, kind of ridiculous, because you will pun punish your opponent and then they'll eat a ton of damage. Actually, I think with that move it's worth going for the knockdown ender, which is... Yeah, it's one four three one four two. He has some weird strings. Okay, let me just try showing this. Yeah, and then back to zoning. So yeah, overall you're gonna be focused on your projectiles. I didn't even show this, but uh, the fully charged one actually allows for combos. And yeah, you'll just kind of be harassing and annoying your opponent and they can't even retaliate because you have the water shield pretty interesting this i think like i said i really like this character because nrs has never really made zoners like this and he actually takes some like thought and deliberation so yeah i wouldn't say he's the most complex uh zoners you know always tend to have sort of the more simpler game plans but yeah let's go ahead and take rain online Ah, of course my first opponent is on Wi-Fi, because everybody's on Wi-Fi in this game. Um, oh yeah, that's overhead, Johnny Cage. This is one of those characters I definitely need a lot more practice against. But, I, I'm not gonna lie, I am relying a little bit on... Maybe people being unfamiliar with rain. Because this is, like I said, not a character that's played too much. Serena.
Oh, what's his? Yeah. Knew he was gonna do that. Listen, Johnny Cage has lost his projectile, but people now seem to think his kick is his projectile because, man, do they use it all the time. Is that not punishable? This character is ridiculous, by the way. Um, this has to be like one of the easiest characters in the game to play. Uh, it's a little bit too low. No! Yeah, just straight up guessing. This is maybe the... Not the best uh, demonstration of... Um, Rain because the thing about Johnny Cage is oh shit he can advance in very quickly and that's like unreactable so it's going to be difficult to actually establish your game plan here oh man that guess I'm sure that's reactable but is that not is that not a high? Jail. Yeah, this is one of those characters that like requires zero thought. Uh, you just use your two strings and you just, you know, switch them up and that's it, you win. Definitely S tier. Yeah, so this is going to be difficult in terms of establishing any sort of control because that flash kick is just so goddamn fast. Oh. <sighs> See, that's the... I saw... You know what, I'm just gonna armor. I'll take the armor. Why not? I need to get out of here though. Okay, nice hand here. GG's. Whoa, okay. I wasn't expecting him to get hit by that. How did that miss? No, oh shit. That was bad, I thought he was gonna jump in, or go in, but he didn't. Take a throw. Try the anti-airing. Nice delayed wake up. I'm sure that thing is punishable, the overhead string. I just don't know the the exact timing. Alright, GG's. I am, like I said, one of the things, if you're playing the rain, you can sort of rely on people's unfamiliarity with the character, definitely. Uh, like I said, nobody plays this guy, so you kind of do have that as your advantage, and that's like... I just stopped blocking there. I'm an idiot. Ooh, nice. God damn. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll take the L there. I swear I'm trying to stand up there. I'm not being an idiot. Serena, of course, Serena. It always comes back. The knives always come back. Dropped combo. Nice. 
Nice. Oh yeah, did I mention that you have a good down too? Because you have a good down too. Um, I'll just tag that on as a positive for rain. Why do I keep dropping that? Oh no. I need to go into practice mode against that. Because I'm sure that's like somehow reactable. This is hell. Oh, uh oh. No, 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 no. I screwed up. I shouldn't have. My mistake. Jesus, this matchup is tough. Like, he comes in so fast with the the flash kick. It's really, really difficult to keep him out. Oh, man. Uh, I keep thinking I react to it, and then... I did the wrong scorpion move. Is that not is that seriously not punishable? It's so cheap. Oh, I'm dead. Man, this is tough. This is probably like a bad example of what this character can do. Because it's like... That is unbelievable. Is that seriously safe? As you guys know, can probably see... Uh, I don't really have the Johnny matchup lab, which I should. This is ridiculous, man. That is not safe, that's for sure. What the fuck, man? Yeah, it's a parry. I'm dead. Yeah, fine, fine. That was horrible. That was horrible. Man, that is a terrible matchup. I can already tell. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, I need to practice against that. Um, it's just kind of crazy that he has an overhead low mix-up leading into full combos. Corner carry, full corner carry too. So yeah, GG's, GG's. Oh no, don't friendly rematch. Okay, so I gotta mention this. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is a Wi-Fi connection with 145 milliseconds of ping and the game is not letting me decline. Seriously, NRS, what the fuck? The online of this game is so absolutely broken that it's insane. And it's another Johnny Cage, okay. Ah, uh, this, the online needs to be fixed ASAP, like, this is, this is not something that's, like, acceptable. Just let me filter out by connection type, or let me filter out Wi-Fi as a whole, please. Please, please, please. Okay, this, maybe this guy is a little bit less familiar with the matchup than the previous individual. Uh, so we might be a little bit more okay here, but man, it, it just feels delayed. Oh, 
Oh my fucking god. The uh, Jesus ah and you know that's the most messed up part is that you're stuck here like because the game is first to five you're just totally stuck against these people Probably an armorable gap there, I just don't know it. This is insane. This is insane. So this is not only a horrible matchup, but also a horrible connection. <sighs> fun. This is when I say this game is really fun to play, isn't it? Really, really fun. GG's NRS, you did great. Trying to like get the hell out of here somehow. This is gonna be like 40% easily. I don't know, man. I don't know. Of course, he can instantly get in. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I can. I'll, I'll, I might be able to somehow manage this. That's a crazy thing about Johnny Cage is like he also doesn't need meter for much. He can use it, but it's not like essential for him. I did the wrong it registered I was holding back I need to figure out where you can armor out of that because I am a hundred percent sure you can do it I just need to know when god this connection is awful All I'm asking for is a connection limiter. Oh, okay, that hits in the air. I didn't know that. Grab this fool. I mean, not a lot of damage, but I'll take it. Nice. 
Nice, nice jump. Holy shit. I, I, what I wanted to do is the back spear, but I messed up. So I got really lucky there. Really, really lucky. Sometimes I get, I'm getting like these dropped inputs here. Oh, too late. <sighs> close. Okay, maybe not so close, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. If the connection doesn't shit itself in the next match, I should be okay. But you know, this is Johnny Cage. You, know, you just get the right guesses and then, you know. What was he going for? Sub-Zero? Oh, I know why. I know why, because of the invincibility. The projectile invincibility. It's okay. Yeah. I probably should have mentioned this, that one of the reasons why zoners are always going to be at a disadvantage in this game is because of Sub-Zero. If you don't know what he does is he gives you um, a few seconds of projectile invincibility. And it's not the end of the world because if you hit him it goes away. But yeah, he can just chill, but so can I. There's gonna be some insane damage. He can't get as much damage as he can with... Um, nice jump. Nice delay too. Oh man, the forward advance. I'm that was too close. That was too close. Does it also, like, prevent block stun or something? Looks like it. Oh. I'm getting my ass kicked. You know what? Keep dropping my combo. Chipped. This is going down to last game, which is something I didn't want. Um, it doesn't even, it's not even because of the cameo. Uh, it's just Johnny Cage, you know. God, he has easily the best offense in the game one of the best offenses him and like barack and all that i know i know there's kenshi but you know kenshi's sort of like a more tricky character oh, he does so much look at the corner look at the corner carry what the hell man and he does this all without a cameo. Like, he doesn't even need the cameos in his combos. Okay, dropped it. I might be screwed here. I honestly might be screwed. That protect. Bullshit. This character is trash. I mean, rain. I cannot believe that's safe. Holy fuck, man. Holy shit, this is...
He's French. He's French. That invalidates the whole match. Hold on. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I hope that worked. I hope he heard that. He was French too. Oh man, people get really mad on this game. It's super funny. It's super funny. I've had more people like swear at me in this game than like I've not had anybody in Street Fighter talk to me. Like never, never. This game, man, it really is full of 12 year olds, I swear. And French people, I guess. All right, cool. So I think that's going to be it for the the rain video. Um, this was just a really unfortunate set of matches. Like I said, I wanted to show you what this character can do, but uh, I think the Johnny Cage matchup is really not the best for this character. Uh, Johnny Cage is like impossible to keep out and he does just ridiculous amounts of damage off of pure guesses. So yeah, not the best demonstration, but overall, you know, I try these characters out all the time uh, before I start these videos and just like casuals. And even then I kind of had the feeling that I like Rain, but he's not for me. He's fun in this game. At least they did something different. At least he's a zoner with like actual like variety in his moves and game plan. But yeah, this is not my favorite character. I'm not sure overall in the meta how he can do. He does destroy certain characters. I can't lie about that. Any character that relies on projectiles for a lot, even characters like Reiko, you know, have, who have like a really good projectile are completely invalidated by uh, the water shield. But Johnny Cage ain't it. Johnny Cage can just get in, force you to guess, do like 36% combos with every single touch and then just destroy you. So not the best for a character that is so focused on keeping people out. Plus, of course, Johnny Cage can use an armored uh, flash kick to be instantly in your face. So yeah, kind of a tough one, but good character. I think he is worth exploring a little bit more for people, just not for me because uh, he's fun, but not really my, my style. Cool, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Mortal Kombat 1 Online. And yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.